Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about the narcissist and twin flames. Narcissists and twin flames. So let's get right into it. First of all, classic definition of a narcissist is they think of themselves. They admire themselves. They're all about them. For many narcissists, that is a self-defense mechanism. They're literally defending and protecting themselves, but it doesn't seem like it, especially when they try to groom you and draw you in, but they are unavailable emotionally and physically. Why is that? They cannot fill your tank. They're trying to, you know, put up walls and they don't even know they're doing it. You want to know why? This is an ancient pattern. This has been noticed from ancient times. And yeah, it's people in positions of power. It's people who feel um, vulnerable, like they need to protect themselves. There's another thing that's going on, and I am doing this for twin flames, okay? This is a twin flame informational thing to edify you. Narcissist is an old, old thing. And it's not the new way, okay? Like, twin flames actually melt together. Twin flames don't throw up roadblocks and blocks and have all this stuff that they are, their chakras are shut down or something like that. That is not a twin flame. That's just some soulmate, okay? We need to start calling the narcissist what it is. If you're seeing things out there and you're checking boxes, like there's a checklist, Oh, yeah, they do that. They do that. It Look, if you, that person you like is a narcissist, does that make you a narcissist? Or does that make you the victim of narcissistic abuse by a soulmate, by a karmic soulmate who's still being karmic? Because these things have to do with karma. Now, is it your karma to endure this or tolerate it? or yet again be victimized by it. No, I teach you what to do, which is get what belongs to you back. That is their agreement with you. That is what the narcissist agreement with you is. Now, what are some of these weird stages of narcissistic attraction? Because some people can appear very lovely, handsome, beautiful, and yet they're very toxic. And you can't see it right away. And some people have no perceptual capabilities. They just see the pretty face. Or they just feel an attraction or a crush or something like that. That does not equal your twin flame. You can't just paint a target around a person that you're crushing on. But it gets worse. The stages of narcissistic attraction means you get drawn in. Why do you get drawn in? Why would you feel anything? I mean, for real. Why, if you're supposed to be a twin flame with your real true love and not a soulmate, why would you get drawn in? Well, that's a part of the root and the hara. The hara is your soul group connection. It's like a big blankie that connects all the soul groups, all the people in the soul group together. Everyone in your soul group called a monad you're kind of networked in with each other. It's a part of your network. And you could have been drawn in by many people. This is why people tend to attract the same person that they're dating. They're date out in the dating world. And they're like, it was a different person. But they were the same as my ex. Or I've dated four guys who were the same as my ex-husband. Or... I've dated several women and they're all the same narcissistic bitch. What's up with that? Yeah, because you're root. And if you're being intimate with them, guess what? It's familiar because you got screwed before. That's what it is. Soulmates in karma have screwed each other. Literally, figuratively, actually, physically, backstabbed, stolen, left for dead, all kinds of stuff. This is part of my gift because I'm able to see what happened between you and the narcissist. What is it really? What was your downfall? Why would you get drawn in? Why would you still be tied by your root to them? Well, some of it is sex and a lot of it is murder, she wrote. 
but you're here again. You're not here to get screwed yet again. You're here to live and thrive and be with your real true love who isn't the narcissist. So let's go on here. So some things that people say on the list is like, they're familiar. They feel like home until they start screwing you. Why is that? Because you're from the same monad. You are from the same group of souls where you've all, you know, been networked in and done things. We're all disentangling that. It's like having, you know, jewelry. There are beautiful gems in the jewelry, but if all the like chains are all tangled, you got to disentangle it first before you see the beauty of it. By the way, this is a moonstone. That's my birthstone. Anyways, why do you want all of your beautiful glistening beauty and gems and your chakras to be tangled up? It's familiar until it isn't familiar because every alarm bell inside your cells is going to be like, no, I can't take it anymore. I don't want more of this. What am I doing wrong? Maybe you're not the one doing anything wrong. You just need to get me to help you clear your root, your emotional body. But another part of the stage is people think. You think with the ego mind that you can change it or change them. What is that thinking all about? Where is our ego mind tied to? It's tied to the Hera, where you're networked. This is why people use seduction or convincing or coercion or trafficking, or uh, cajoling, or corruption, or bribery, or prostitution. We think we can change it just by using our minds. Eh, wrong, because you cannot. The mind, the ego mind is insufficient. The ego mind's going to think of dualistic things. And we all know this game. If this happens, I'll do that. If they do this, I'll do this. And you're like trying to outmaneuver each other's moves. Like it's like a chess game. That is not what twin flame love is about. Twin flame love is about eroding and melting away all of these obstacles. It's about balancing you to let a real flow of 5D love into your body so that you easily push these damn narcissists out of your way. Any of the soulmates, no matter how pretty or beautiful, and some people say that, they're like, but he's so handsome. Who gives a shit? If they're going to screw you again, you don't need that, and your soul is not going to support it. Let's be real, okay? So even people who run dating blogs, they talk about that. They're like, why are you putting up with the same bad behaviors? If you're female, they're like, Hello, please pay attention to you. Do yourself. Improve yourself. But this is far beyond self-improvement. In fact, we are flipping that by using your brand new light body. The self-improvement comes. The elevation comes. Your higher vibration comes. You can attract a better quality soulmate. Yeah, you can. They may not be your twin flame, but they're going to be better than this jerk. Pay attention. Also. One of the things that really gets people, are we all old mammals surviving? Yes, we have a mammal side to us, okay? And you can feel that when the season changes. You might want to hibernate in the winter. You might want to overeat. You might want to get frisky in the spring. You might want to feel like you've got to build your nest and harvest things, okay? That is a part of our hard drive here in order to live in a physical environment right here, care for ourselves. Caring for ourselves is beyond the survival drive. It is who you are as a human who is ascending and is a higher consciousness being. It can even include wanting to take your own self out rather than be you know, destroyed again or taken captive or something. Even animals, even mammals will not off a limb than be trapped. Okay. So are you just, when you 
have this narcissistic attraction? Are you just a mammal surviving and you go into fight or flight mode? Pay attention. I mean, do you see someone of the opposite sex and you start feeling anxiety? That is a trigger that needs to heal. Fight or flight, running, hiding, ghosting, avoiding, okay? All these things are being attributed to twin flames and I'm frankly sick of it, okay? That is not how real twin flames are. We don't avoid. We don't not commit. The first commitment is to your journey. We don't avoid the things that we need to detox or break up with. We don't hide from things and say, I don't see it. We can't help but see it, okay? We actually are upping the level of relationships by having honest conversations, not to people's faces, but where it counts through our light body, sometimes with that hurt communication that I teach. I teach it so that you're bypassing people's ego minds. I teach you how to do that so that you're able to elevate your other relationships and your love life and your twin flamedom. Okay, so running away, you're not going to avoid your ascension. You're going to continue ascending. Hiding from things that are too ugly to see, I help you to have the tools to not only deal, improve, and be successful, overcome many, many things I've helped people with. Nothing is a hindrance as far as your soul is concerned. It's if you are going into these old levels, you're just going to go hide in a cave or you think they are. Maybe that's not, you know, that's the old way of doing it. That's not the new way of doing it, okay? The last thing I'm going to say about a narcissist, and you have to pay attention to this, they, they do not care, all right? And you're going to either know this and accept it and acknowledge it. And then you'll be like, you know what? I'm going to work on my discernment so I can see what is this connection. I'm going to have a session with Patricia so we can see what is the nature of this. Now, the best way is when you work on your body and it starts being revealed to you. Some people have dreams where the dreams are very revealing and those dreams are showing you things and why would you sleep with someone who has done you in who has backstabbed you enslaved you left you for dead any of that the healing i'm gonna say something here forgetting is forgiving okay but if you really need to see it so that it edifies you then you're gonna need to see it and you cannot hide from it, run from it. But we take you through the next steps of what do you do with this? How should I do this? How? What are my next steps? And how do you break up? And how do you break up with it forever so that if on the other side of your union, your own real twin flame is dealing with the same crap? So like, let's say it's a man, right? You're female. He's a male. And a fair amount of males get taken advantage of. Other women want money. That's your money. What right does that weird stranger soulmate narcissistic person have to your stuff? Okay? Or even his stuff. I mean, maybe it doesn't legally belong to you. But it's your energy. It's your uh, industry. It is your essence. And that is a part of why we need to pull away from these old levels. Because when you do that, you pull your stuff with you. I teach you how. It returns to you. If you've heard the expression, all things return to the rightful owners. This is what I'm talking about. Never, ever, ever, ever again letting someone destroy you. Keep your stuff. Keep your love. Keep your essence. Keep your life force. Yeah. Really? Okay. You ever feel drained? You ever wonder why it feels like people are um, energy vampires or all of what you're doing is being sucked out to the other side? You can no longer triangulate. There's no love triangles. Even that narcissistic person that is with your 
real twin flames somewhere that you might not even know about, they belong to someone. We want to get rid of them so that they can go where they need to go. Now, another thing to be aware of, there are timelines. There are actual markers in the sky, delineation points, where we actually need to find out where we are at collectively. We are on the move, okay? You can see it all around. We're ascending, okay? We're better, but there's a lot of things coming up that need dealing with, healing with, okay? So if this narcissistic relationship, if it's in a marriage, if it's in a long-term relationship, if you have kids with these people, if you hit it off at first, then you feel like they're turning into a narcissist. Like my ex-husband is a narcissist. My ex-wife is a narcissist. Like how did that happen? How was I even with this person? Guess what? If it was from prior to 2020, it is a no longer supported it is a not supported relationship it's a not supported relationship okay other things that you may notice neurosis do you are you neurotic are they neurotic are there toxic feelings and actions is there illness have they reverted back to addictions okay that's because you cannot heal them they're not your twin flame and this happens a lot. People question it. They're like, we're flopping into this dynamic or this pattern and they're blocking me and the walls are up. And now they're, you know, doing all this like nefarious stuff that they used to do before. Before when? Okay. Because they got to do that. You have to do what you need to do to unify yourself. There is a huge unification process. So they cannot heal you. And that is the number one thing. Only your 5D love from the real source of who you are can actually do the healing for any chronic illness, addictions, feelings, toxins, traumas, um, phobias, panic attacks, anxiety, all of it. Get you off, you know, the things that you've reached for to cope and get you onto the right track. My methods do that exactly for you. So um, what I would like to say is join us for your own well-being and ascension. I am starting my three-week class on April 14th and we meet, you grow, you learn, you ask questions. I'm live. We talk about the energies and I do everything in my power to guide you. I hope to see you there. Please reach out for the help you need, the real professional help. I'm a professional. I don't dabble. I'm not a dilettante. Please think about this, okay? And don't just think with your ego mind. Feel, okay? Discernment. My work helps people make their discernment so that not only are they able to be like, get off my path, those people don't even come into your radar. It's a really amazing thing. I wouldn't believe it unless I had done it, done the work it takes, and seen how magical it really can be. At work, in personal relationships, with families, with exes, and mostly with your love life. Which is the most important thing in the entire universe. Love. Lest we forget, not conflict, love. With that, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.